The uh, motivating factor to uh, go into blended learning and team teaching for Wiggins um, was, it, it really stems from, uh, there was a, a course of seven years back in uh, around 2010, um, kind of right in the middle of it, where our teachers were, were really uh, teaching together. Our English department and our social studies department were working together and, uh, and they would um, co-teach these subject areas. So one would write where the other one would teach the, the historical background and how to research. Uh, we saw huge growth and achievement in both of our ACT and our Colorado State assessments. So kind of wanting to catch lightning in a bottle, um, we sent some teachers to the iLearn Collaborative uh, conference held a few years back uh, for them to kind of go and see what was going on in terms of blended learning and cooperative teaching. So uh, our teachers did that and uh, they came back and kind of fell in love with, with what was happening. They were able to go visit um, a couple of schools they were able to talk to principals and teachers at different schools that were using blended learning and cooperative strategies. And uh, we wanted to bring that back here um, to, to kind of carry that trend that we'd seen uh, before and, and have our students and uh, our staff be able to, to get into blended learning and get into uh, team teaching for the benefit of our students. Uh, we did have our uh, town adopted, or, uh, not adopted the bond, but our, our town uh, passed a bond election in 2016 where we were able to purchase uh, computers for every student. So we were able to go one-to-one. -one. So when we knew we were going to do that, we knew we had to do something to get our teachers, um, not adapted, but, but get them uh, able to, to teach one-to-one. -one. We had to keep, teach them te the technology of what was going to happen. So uh, we brought in experts that were just on staff of uh, flipped classroom design, of uh, teaching students with blogs using the computers. So we, we taught teachers that, and then we, got it in, we brought it in with the students. Um, once we did that, we knew we really needed to go further, and uh, that's when we uh, became partners with uh, iLearn Collaborative, and we were able to uh, utilize their professional development opportunities for our staff uh, that go along with curriculum design, uh, through blended learning, with uh, the technology behind it, and with doing kind of flipped classroom design, and, Right, right now we are starting to make a uh, document what's going on in our district so we're able to have those lessons on, um, on video and then if students come in late, students come in uh, mid-year, students are having trouble, we're able to send those videos out to the students so it, it'll help them out. Uh, blended learning's role in uh, the strategy of, um, of uh, cooperative learning, uh, it, it really, they, they play hand in hand. Our teachers, they are able to uh, meet together and plan their lessons together and then we do a lot of station rotation. So we'll have one teacher that's maybe doing a lecture while we have uh, another student that's maybe doing a blog where other students are, are diving deep into some research of what's going on and then they'll, they're able to rotate and the teachers are able to do math and science at the same time or English and social studies at the same time through this. Uh, we actually built our building so it is designed with walls that can move. And, and we, so we will have, maybe there's only 30 kids in the classroom at one time, maybe only 20, but other times we're able to fit 50 in there and able to really teach them at one time. Uh, the blended learning model, we see that uh, go from, like I said, station rotation. Uh, we are doing more flipped classroom design more and more as, uh, as the teachers are becoming more comfortable with that. And we're able to utilize uh, some uh, for our gifted and talented students and maybe our special education students, we're able to utilize other curriculums that we don't offer. Uh, so our students can uh, do, we, we have a partnership with uh, Colorado, Colorado Digital Solutions. Um, so we're able to push our kids there. They're able to get uh, advanced placement and, uh, and maybe some um, structure that they need to fill in the gaps where they might have missed. So we see blended instruction throughout the course of the day. Uh, we actually have students that do blended instruction um, through uh, MCC, where we have our digital labs where they're able to do uh, Web, web videos with um, instructors at those places, uh, college, BYU as well. So it, it really is helpful out in a rural district like us that can't offer all those programs for our kids. Uh, the types of, of learning of student outcomes, learning outcomes that we've seen so far through uh, the blended and team teaching um, are, are few because we've just kind of started this. We, we are just in the first year of our journey um, through all this. But the students, what they've kind of said this year is they've raved about they don't feel like they're in jail anymore. They, they enjoy coming to school and they enjoy what we're doing. Uh, our teachers are not just standing up in front of the classroom lecturing. 
they are involving the students. Students have projects. The students have, uh, they're working together collaboratively. Uh, they're solving problems together. And so we're kind of seeing that teamwork really build with, within the kids. And uh, it's neat as you're seeing some kids that don't usually typically hang out together. Uh, they'll be partnered up together in class and then you'll see them out in the hallways together and, and hanging out at lunch a little bit. So I think it's brought a sense of unity to our students and just really that collaborative nature that we haven't seen in the past. And it's given our kids uh, an opportunity to use technology in a way they haven't before. Um, some of our students would, would, don't have computers, they don't have the means to buy computers from home. So the school allowing them to do that and do, do their work online or uh, with partners really opens up an opportunity for them that they wouldn't have before. Uh, the changes in our staff with the culture and the morale um, through blended learning and uh, cooperative teaching are tenfold, I, I think. And again, we just started this process of our teachers doing this together. Um, and what our principal has done is he's put in days, it's called uh, uh, Wallace Wednesdays. So he wants the wall open and, and teach together Tuesdays type of thing. So um, what, what he's been able to do is get our staff to where they can have a common plan hour. For our middle school, we still haven't got that at the high school, but for our middle school. So teachers are able to, to plan together of the lessons that they're going to teach together, um, which has brought kind of like with the students a sense of unity. Um, I think I've heard high schools and middle schools described as a parking lot. Um, schools, the, the common thing about the teachers is the parking lot. That's where the teachers meet. Um, other than that, they go to their classrooms and they're, they're separated the whole day. And We don't have our teachers ostracizing themselves. They, uh, they eat lunch together, they plan together, and uh, through teaching together, we really feel like they are bolstering their, what, what's great about them, and each teacher can kind of play off each other's strengths. Um, some teachers are better in front of the class doing lecture, while others do better creating projects for the kids. So they're able to play off that together, and uh, it is really helpful for our students, but I, I would say just the culture of the staff being able to hang out together. I know when I walk through the building at the end of the day, uh, there's usually a set of seven or eight teachers standing around talking at the end of the day that, that you hadn't seen before. So it's neat uh, to, to see the relationships grow not only in students but with the adults as well. As other school districts embark on the uh, blended learning and cooperative teaching uh, strategic practices, I, I would suggest that they really focus on what they want to do, what do they want to get out of this, um, what is the why behind it. When we went into this, it was a few teachers that went and observed other classes or other school districts and really liked it. We had our why to try to replicate what we'd done in the past but didn't know how to get there. Um, so I think when we started this we, we kind of threw caution to the wind and we did both the blend learning and the team teaching together um, and I really feel like the first semester this year we basically did get a lot accomplished. Um, I think we had people going one direction while their teachers were trying to go another direction. Uh, we actually all sat down as a staff last Thursday to kind of redirect where we're going on this and where we want to go on this and so we had elementary school in here uh, middle school and high school everybody in the room together and we were able to sit down and really focus and, uh, and narrow down our scope of where we want to go so blended learning is, is the focus that's where we're going to go and with the elementary really stepping up on team teaching to, to really focus on on how that works and how that looks in an elementary school as well as in the high school. So uh, I think that being able to, to sit down with your staff and come together and decide your path uh, will help instead of just blindly throwing darts at it, I think kind of how we did it. Um, but now that we're focused, I really think we'll see some, some gains this coming year that, that we are unexpected. Uh, where do I see Wiggins going from here with the blended model and team teaching? I, I really feel like uh, I want Wiggins to be a model school district in the state of Colorado for, for doing this. Um, we have uh, been able to uh, go to other school districts that are implementing um, the blended learning and team teaching and I really feel like we're not too far behind them uh, of what they're offering their students and this is a big schools on the front range so as a small rural school doing this I think we're very unique and I'd like to be the model for those rural schools to be able to come here to kind of visit and see what's going on. Uh, we are part of an organization called uh, SCAP which is Student Centered Accountability Program and as, as what it is, it's a group of teachers, uh, principals, superintendents that meet together and are able to review each other's schools to, to give ideas of how to improve, what to improve upon. And as those two people came out here and did uh, our review in April, they really noticed what was going on with our team teaching and our blended learning. And uh, they had rave reviews about where we were at already in such a short amount of time. 
So if we get our teachers really going on the on the professional development side of it, I think that the, the opportunities will uh, only expand for, for our teachers, for our students, and for this community, and, uh, and then for other schools to be able to come and visit and, and see what we're doing as, as kind of that, uh, that beacon of, of excellence for this model.